The latest numbers may not ring alarm bells. However, with temperatures on the rise, there is cause for concern. The snowpack in the Okanagan is still at 116% of normal, and that is forcing water managers to lower lake levels in preparation for the spring runoff. Well, we've been coming down for a half centimeter per day. So again, it's been 15 centimeters a month, uh, really, for the last, so about a foot in the last two months. And so what you're seeing on Okanagan Lake is we're starting to see a lot of sandbars develop and things like that. And that's because uh, of that drawdown. It's been drier the last few weeks, and I think uh, that we're downgrading some of our inflow forecasts coming into Okanagan Lake compared to where we were three weeks or a month ago. Uh, Okanagan Lake though, because of we've been expecting this elevated runoff, uh, we've been drawing it down fairly aggressively. Our outflows for the last month plus have been uh, certainly higher than they normally are for this time of year. The Okanagan has experienced a significant divide, with east side stations reporting anywhere from 125 to 180 percent of normal, while west side values range from 80 percent of normal to around 105 percent. Because we've been drawing down the lake, our models are showing that it should still be manageable and uh, with us only getting up to the full pool elevation target that we try to get to on an annual basis. That being said, if conditions change, it gets very wet, or if, you know, if we have a later buildup of snow or the water comes down, the snow melts and comes down so quickly that it sort of overtakes our ability to get the water out, then again, the lake can rise up higher than we would like. That's always a possibility. The best case scenario, temperatures in the mid-teens during the day, cooler evenings, and no precipitation. For Castanet News, I'm Dale Corey in Penticton.